Hey everyone, welcome back to the Web Automation Series. Uh, first of all, we'll just have a quick recap on what we covered in last video, and then I'll tell you what I'm going to cover today. So in the previous video, we learned about CI/CD pipeline using GitHub Action. So we saw all the scenarios in which we executed customized script. We ran on different browsers like Firefox. We also ran our jobs in parallel on CI/CD pipeline using GitHub Action. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how we can upload our reports on CI/CD pipeline using GitHub Action because earlier the report was not attached. Since we have already covered the reporting part, how we can generate the report on a local machine. So I'm not going to cover that again. You can watch my previous video where I have provided step-by-step -step details about how we can install it, how we can run it. Fine. So today, what we'll do, first of all, we'll see how we can run it on local machine and how your reports are getting generated and in which folder. Then we will try to automate the same thing on our CI/CD pipeline as well, okay? Now let's go back. Oh, this is my editor. In the previous video, I have explained about Mocha Awesome report, like how we are downloading the Mocha Awesome report and how we are using it. So you can see, I already have a dependency for Mocha Awesome over here, right? This is my dependency. And in order to check the report, what I will do, I have already created a script over here. This is my script. So I'll just run the specific test case. I'll run only one test case now, and then we will see how our reports are getting generated. Fun. So let me go to terminal and run the command, which is npm run and the script name. So this is my script name in this case. Once you run the test case, execution would be started in the headless mode. And after this, you will see a report getting generated. So you see over here, my test case got passed and in the logs, I can see my HTML report successfully created. Fine. And what is the location of this report? So the report is in this folder. I show you over here. This is my report. This is under Cypress end to end. It's on my desktop, but uh, this is my project name. So my project name is basically your Cypress end to end. You see, inside this we have Cypress folder, so which is this Cypress folder, and inside that we have reports, and inside that we have HTML folder where we get all of our reporting see this is my report html index.html is my report let me show you so if i show you this index.html let me open it so this is my index.html report you can see this is cypress add to cart test it's the same test we executed and over here we can see the steps also as well as the video recording but when i executed this as part of my ci cd pipeline last thing the report was not getting uploaded over there right if i i'll show you on the ci cd pipeline so this this was the case where i have multiple workflows and in this workflow if you can see there is no reports getting generated if i go inside this in my Cypress run, I can see all the logs, everything getting passed and everything is specified over here, right? We can see over here, it is saying report successfully generated, but we can't see the report attached to our pipeline, right? So this part we are going to, that we can see our report also generated over here in the build pipeline. Otherwise in the logs, we can see we have, they have the report created successfully. You can see the message, but it is not getting attached over here, right? So for that, what we will do, First of all, we need to check for a GitHub action, which will actually upload your report to the pipeline. So my report is generated, but we need to attach it to the pipeline. For that, just go to google.com and search for this upload artifact GitHub action. Select the first link, and then this is a GitHub action to actually upload your report. So it's a report or any files which are generated as part of your code, you can upload that to your build pipeline. Okay, and you can see over here, it is 2.4k stars are already provided to this GitHub. So there are multiple GitHub actions available online, but you need to see which one is suitable for you and the star and folks also you can see 807 folks already done and they have 18 releases already done, right? You can use this one. And for this one, what we will do, let's say you want to, they have attached, they have provided multiple examples over there. You want to upload a single file or you want to upload whole directory. You can do anything. As part of our code, what we will do, we will copy this one because if we upload single HTML file, it will not be, it will be blank. Why? Because in our report, it takes, if I show you the code, in our report as part of the index.html, it takes a reference from assets and from screenshots so that in order to get the report, we need to attach the whole folder in that case, right? So let's copy the GitHub action from here. So I'll just copy this one and in our existing I will use my existing work. In my previous video, we have already covered how to create the build pipeline, how to create this workflow, where we covered what is the name, what is this on means, what is the different event triggers, right? 
job steps everything we have covered in the previous video i'll i'll explain you once more what is the steps doing first of all we are checking out the code from github repository right then we are running our test case so this test case we are actually using it from the script which is passed in the package.json this is the same script which we executed in our headless mode now right which we executed through the script so in my package.json if i show you so this is the script name test add to cart we are using the same so this is my script name right we are using the same script in our yaml file also in our workflow file as well so this is my build.yml this is the same file now next thing is we want to upload report so like i mentioned we have to use some github action to attach your reports to the build pipeline so with this first we will write the name what do you want to name your step so i'll name it as cypress cypress test report fine and now paste the github action which you copied from there so this is my syntax let me just format it because you need to make sure the format is correct otherwise it will throw error so name uses and with should be at the same level right so this is the final format fine so this is the github action this is the main part users means the github action which it is using next one is name so this name means the folder name whatever folder name we want to give it because your reports will be attached in the pipeline in the form of a zip folder so folder name you can pass anything let me pass it as mock awesome html report fine and then this is a path to artifact so path to your folder whatever folder you want to upload so we saw the html report is actually getting created in this cypress reports html folder right because till cypress end to end earlier on a local machine this is this is created inside your project but on github also the github repository is still cypress end to end so that means it will be fetching from your github repo which is this cypress end to end and after that from which location you want to fetch you will need to pass that so what we will pass we will pass the path as cypress cypress and then inside the cypress let me show from here also so inside cypress we have reports folder right so this is my reports and inside reports we have html folder this is the html fine this is the path of your report fine earlier what happened when we executed the test case earlier the report was not getting generated but now if i push my code we will see a report getting generated in your ci cd pipeline right let's push the code you know so what we will do i will do this git add and i will just commit my code let me pass a message so i will add adding html report okay and now git push so once i do the git push all my action file would be triggered on the github repo so let's see so let's go back to our actions tab and i can see there are multiple workflows getting triggered because all the events were pushed right so what is the name of this workflow this is regression end to end test so let's see from here what is regression end to end test we can see this is regression end to end test right so we need to check this workflow because we have added the code in this workflow only right so let this is executing right now let's click on this and let's see the log so we can see checkout step is already passed and it is executing the cypress run step so now we see our report got generated successfully our test case got passed and we can see over here report is successfully created the next step was cypress test report so this is the same name which we passed in our file right let me maximize it this is the same name which we passed in workflow file right so cypress test report and inside that we passed the code for uploading the file so we can see there are multiple logs and this is the same name and over here you can see all the logs and in the end if you see artifact report has been successfully uploaded that means your report is successfully uploaded to your build pipeline how we can see that so just this these are the steps which are executed as part of this pipeline let's go to the summary and on the summary page you see we have this mock awesome html report this is a zip folder if i show you so it will be downloaded in folder and if you see this is getting downloaded and if i show you the zip folder the zip package and if i show you like this you see everything over here all the assets all the folders which we were checking on our local machine this is index.html and we can see the reports also so this is really awesome you can see your reports actually attached to a build pipeline using github action and if you want to see the video also you can see the video it will show you all the test case execution how it is happening right so this was our e-commerce website where we search for product 
then added it to the card and then verified some assertion, right? So this is the steps by which you can upload your report to your pipeline. We have also saw how we can run multiple test case if you want to do parallel execution, right? In case of parallel execution, single uploads will not be sufficient because it will be running, it will be uploading the report for the last step. So what we will do, let me go back to my, so we can see we have only single test case, but, but let's say you have two jobs. In case of parallel execution, we have two jobs, right? Let me open this parallel workflow. So in the parallel test flow, we can see we have two jobs. So in this case, we cannot pass single upload. In this case, what we have to do, we need to pass two separate upload artifacts for these two jobs. In this case, two reports would be generated for each of the job. So let me show you that as well. Let's copy the same code because the code will be same. We will just change the name of the step and we'll change the name of the folder, right? So after running our test case, what we will do, we will add our, so add the steps for the reporting. So let's say more awesome HTML report, add to cart, fine. And in the second test case also, in the second job also, I will do the same thing. Let me copy it. So in part of this one, so over here, let me change the name to different name. So let me change the name over here. So I'll pass the registration flow, right? So now we'll have two reports as part of your same pipeline, but there will be two folders and both the folders will have its own, its own report, right? Now let's push the code for this as well. And let's see for this, let's go to terminal and let's add files to so get add, and then we'll do git commit and two reports can pass any message, right? And then git push. So once you do the git push, you will see for the parallel execution workflow, there will be two reports folder getting attached to the pipeline. So let's go to the GitHub and let, let's go back to the actions tab. And now our file is parallel execution, right? So this is my parallel test bit. So if I go inside this, I can see two jobs are running in parallel. One is add to card and one is registration flow. Now, once this is completed, we will see two folders will be attached to this pipeline. So I can see registration flow is executed. If I go inside this one, you see all the steps are passed. If I go to the summary page and we can see we have two report folders over here. One is add to cart, one is registration flow. So if I click on this add to cart, let's go download it. Let me download the other one as well. So this is my report. Let me download the registration flow also got downloaded. Let's, let's just open this and we can see this over here, the test step you see, this is the registration test. This is not the add to cart test, right? We have two reports, right? Let's see the other report as well. You see, this is the add to cart. Let me click on this and let's click on the index.html. You see, this is add to cart flow. And now we have two report folder getting attached over Git pipeline. You see? So this is really helpful with GitHub Action. You can, if you want to upload the report, if you want to generate separate folders for each workflow, you can do that also, right? For different parallel jobs, you can achieve that also, right? This is amazing when you have two jobs. But in this case, there is one issue. What is the issue? As if now we are just running the positive scenarios, right? In case if you have any test failure build, that means let's say your locator is not there or in your face assertion fails. In that case, your report won't be generated, right? Because if our step number one is not passing, then it will not move to step number two, which is attaching the reports. In that case, what you have to do? In that case, you have to pass a condition over here, which is, you need to pass over here if always. So basically, if always condition ensures that these steps run even if the previous step is failing, right? So in this case, let me change it to if always. And like this, you need to pass in the report folder. For example, if we want to check one failure scenario in that case, what we can do? So this is for the same for the same test case, which is add to cart. So we have this home page where we added all the locators. So let me change one locator so that it can fail and we can see one failure scenario as well, right? It is very important to check for both because it's not always you will get a successful report or successful, you know, uh, build path. You should also expect failure scenarios. In that case, our build will not generate any report because our last step would be failed. So let's try with this condition. You need to pass if always. This is very important. Okay. Now let's push the code and let's see. In this case, our test case would fail, but in, in still, but still we should be able to see the report. So let me run this one. So git add. 
and let's commit it and let's push it. So now we have pushed it. So the workflow name is regression into it. So guys, we have multiple workflows over here because as part of the previous video, we created all the workflows, right? So these were the different workflows which we can see on our CI CD pipeline. There are multiple workflows getting triggered, but we need to check today for regression end to end test case only. Let's go to GitHub repo and let's see for this case. So let's go back. So let me go to the actions tab. And over here, we can see multiple workflows getting triggered. So our workflow is regression end to end. Let's click on this one. And if I go inside this, you see my Cypress, the Cypress run is failed, but my Cypress test report is still getting generated. It got executed. And if we go to summary page, so we can see over here, report got generated. It is saying the process run failed because uh, our test case got failed, but our report is still generated, which means we can still see your report in case of failure scenario as well. Let's open the report and let's verify that one. So yeah, this is my report folder. If I extract it, let's go inside it. And let's see index.html. So now you can see add to cart step as field. And if I expand this one, you can see the field screenshot. You can see the video also. So in this case also, when your test case is failing, you will still have a report generated to your CICD pipeline. It will still be there. And in this case, we will see screenshot along with the test steps, right? So this is very useful and uh, you should know these ways also because it's not like only for the positive scenario you should code. You should code for negative as well. In case your test case is failing, in case your build pipeline is failing, you should still get a, a report in that case. So we saw multiple cases. We saw for uh, we saw for multiple cases. We saw when we have single test case, how we can get the report. We saw when we have multiple jobs, how we can run, we can get the test case. If I show you once again, the parallel execution. So my parallel test case, so in a parallel test build, what was happening? This was the report. And over here, we saw two jobs running and two, right? So this is it for today's video. In next video, we are going to cover the Slack integration also. So how we can get this pipeline information in our Slack message, we are going to cover that. And uh, stay tuned. I'll be uploading videos on Docker, on integration, on integration with the Jenkins pipeline. We'll see everything in detail, right? This is our mind map. We execute, we started from our GitHub repo, installing Cypress form fixtures. We have covered all this part already, right? If you have not watched, you can watch all my previous videos. I'll attach the link to the, to the description. You can watch all the series on the page object model, which I have created. And I hope it will be really helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.